What's up everyone, I'm Zach the Pokey Collector and in today's video we are going to be opening up a Chilling Rain Booster Box. Ooh, I'm so excited. And happy Thanksgiving to all those that celebrate it. Uh, I'll definitely be celebrating it the day this comes out uh, with my family and such. So I hope everyone gets to spend time with their family or away from their family <laughs> if they don't like their family. Or if you don't celebrate it, happy Thursday to you. Uh, but yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do like a, a bird chase because there's a bunch of beautiful um, Galarian, Articuno, uh, Zapdos, and Moltres, and kind of like the turkey bird, you know. I thought this would be a fun thing to open for Thanksgiving. Um, I actually picked this box up at the state card show. Um, and I don't think that, <laughs> I think that video is coming out this Saturday. So it might be a little out of order when you see me pick up the box, but I got it for this. It is the same booster box. I'm really excited. I've never opened a Chilling Rain booster box. The most Chilling Rain stuff I've ever opened has always just been packs and collection boxes. And I don't even know if I've done an ATB to be honest, maybe one before, but 36 Chilling Rain booster packs. Here we go. So yeah, let's see. Do they have all the birds on the pack art? They do, okay. So there's the um, Ice Rider, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, uh, Vmax, whatever they call that. And you got the three birds. You got Galarian Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. I thought it'd be a fun set, a fun little, uh, we'll save these three pack arts for the end. I thought it'd be a fun little chase on Thanksgiving with the bird. You know, <laughs> couldn't think of too much else for a Thanksgiving themed video, but. So what we'll do is we'll look at the code card. Ooh, and it's a bad one. If it's a good one, we'll do the pack trick. If not, we'll go right through it quick because uh, it, it's tough to, to just delay the pain, you know? <laughs> uh, cause chilling rain is definitely going to be chilling pain. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to just do like another paradox video or something. You know, it's a holiday, so I'm trying to do something special. Oh, okay. There's a good code card. And that's definitely the older ones. I don't think chilling rain ever got a reprint. That's why, uh, boxes aren't that cheap to get. You can still get them for around like MSRP from like the Pokemon company MSRP. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can get an Altar today. That's the goal. We got Cast Form, Sunny Form, Coughing, Reverse into a Volcanion V. Most of the hits are going to be Hollows or Vs, I'm guessing. And we might need some of the Vs, so we'll, we'll take it to start off. Um, but yeah, here we, here we go. I'm just so nervous that we're not going to get one good hit out of the whole booster box. But I'll tell you what, Early Sword and Shield is rough, y'all. Another good code card, though. We're gonna randomly be grabbing the packs out of the box like always. I just like to do that, make it a little more randomized. So we might get a lot of hits in a row and then a lot of nothing in a row. All right, we got a Quillfish, Galarian Slowpoke, Bayonet Reverse, and Tornado Speed. We, like I said, most of the hits, if we get hits, are probably gonna be hollows, which are pretty much nothing, and Vs, which are usually around a dollar. Um, or less, which is rough. It's really rough. Uh, that's why I definitely wouldn't recommend opening much sets like this. Um, especially Chilling Rain. Like, the top altar is only like 160 bucks or something when I'm filming this, which is a good chunk. Uh, but for how terrible the pull rate is and for the top hit, there's plenty of other alt arts under $50 in this set that you can pick up right now. Um, I have my Chase alt art. My wife got it for me in a video. Uh, it is actually the Galarian Slow King with the Tomo. Ooh, speaking of Tomokazu, with the Tomokazu artwork. I love it so much. That one was only, I think, around 30 or 40 bucks at the time, something like that. Not too crazy, really. Um, especially with knowing how terrible the pull rates are and how much the packs, Chilling Rain, starting. You can't really find it under MSRP really like a lot of other sets. So it's probably gonna just slowly keep going up. Uh, I'd recommend buying the singles. <laughs> buying the singles for sure, but I would love to open at least one booster box of all the sets before I master them uh, within price range, of course. Scolipede Reverse. Wait, Galarian Moltres V. Three Vs in a row, y'all. Three Vs in a row. Not even a VMAX or a full art. There's a bunch of uh, bird cards in this set too. And we got our first one. So we'll take that as a chase, <laughs> in, a, in a sense, for the Thanksgiving theme. We got a bird card. 
Let's see if we can get an Articuno and a Zapdos as well. Hopefully something, ooh, another hit card. Hopefully something better than a V. Um, we really want to stop seeing the fees. We re Vs. We really want to start seeing the alt arts or secret rares. Bunch of rainbows in this set. Golds, there's so much I'm missing from this set. And I've opened up a lot of packs. All right, there's our first hollow. Oh, when you get the good code card and it's a hollow Cobalion. Not what you want, y'all. Not what you want. Um, but yeah, this is definitely, I don't know. Top three Sword and Shield sets for me, I'd say. Uh, I know number one's Evolving Skies for me. Number two is where I struggle. It's either Ground Zenith or Chilling Rain. They're both beautiful sets. Uh, I think everyone puts Crown Zenith at the top so easily. A Tornadus V Max to go with our Tornadus V. <laughs> We're getting a little better. We're getting the V Max instead of a V. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, I don't know. If I if I had to, I think I'd probably choose this over Crown Zenith. Because Crown Zenith does have a bunch of beautiful Galarian Gallery cards. Uh, but, like, the quality of the hits in Chilling Rain, I just, the alt hearts I just think are so beautiful. I really, oh, I don't know why I'm doing Patrick. It was a bad code card. Uh, I really want to pull the Galarian Rapidash V-Alt. Uh, or just pick that up at some point. Because I think that card is just gorgeous. That was probably my second favorite card in this set. Now we're starting to get all the bad code cards. Whole bunch of nothing. And this is why you don't open early Sword and Shield, y'all. We knew it was going to be rough. But I still wanted to do one just with the, you know, the chance. Ooh, good code card. That we just pull one alt art or one something cool from this set. Um, I think out of all the random packs we have open, I have pulled one or two secret rares from this set, like maybe a gold or a rainbow. We got a Stene reverse. Looks like a rainbow, yo. Into, oh no! <laughs> rainbow Sandaconda VMAX. I got, a, I got a strong feeling for some reason this is the rainbow I pulled before from this set, if it is the ultimate meme. But even if it's not, it's probably like the worst rainbow to get. Price will come up in editing Zach mode. I'm guessing it's under a $5 card. Um, Sandaconda never seems to get love. And that being a secret rare, uh, especially uh, from Sword and Shield era, there's no shot I'm getting a second secret rare. So <laughs> that one hurt, but hey, you know, Rainbow Sandaconda, if we need it, that's cool. Porygon Z Hollow on the hit card. I really like this card. Oh, it's Tomokazu. <laughs> that makes sense. I was like, I like the background a lot. So I went to look at the artist. It's Tomokazu. Alrighty. Still a good chunk of packs to go. Maybe we'll pull something good. Good thing about alt arts is um, from the Sword and Shield era, they're not secret rares. Like everything in the Scarlet Violet era, like every hit, illustration rare, everything uh, is a secret rare. So it comes after the set number. Uh, but in Sword and Shield, uh, there was a lot of secret rares. There was a lot of alt arts, sorry, that were not secret rares. Uh, they came just in the main set. So I think technically those should have an easier chance to pull than say a secret rare like a rainbow. Uh, but I don't know. They could all be the same rate or just none in a whole box. <laughs> so we're, ho we're hoping that's not the case. But if it is, you know, what are you going to do? We got a Cub Fu, a Spiral Energy Reverse into another hollow hit. I like to do little peeksies every now and then. Kind of like that rainbow, just see if we got something fun. Alrighty, come on. We still need to get uh, the other two birds. So maybe we'll hit that challenge. <laughs> I didn't set any sort of reward for it or anything. Ooh, a saw buck, but just for fun. Just a fun Thanksgiving thing. There is gonna be a giveaway. Uh, keep your eyes out for the next video in the Ichiban Dan collab. Or, oh no. <laughs> okay. That was last weekend. I am losing track of time, y'all. Holy cow. Oh, it's all book reverse now. Um, the Ichiban Deck Club came out the Saturday before this video. Apologies. So y'all already know about that giveaway. <laughs> so it should still be running until a week after. Um, so when you see this video, it should still be running. The giveaway 
for the um, Iron Valiant ETB, the Paradox Rift ETB, because we did win that battle with Dan. Oh man, I tell you, when you film some videos ahead of time and you edit and you keep shooting, some of them get so lost in your head. <laughs> Oh, apologies. Another V. Shadow Rider Calyrex V. There we go. I don't know if the Pokemon is supposed to be the thing riding the horse, the horse itself, or a combo of the two. It's a really weird Pokemon to me. There is a bunch in this set. And, uh, oh, what is it? Is it Astral Radiance? I think is a set with a trainer gallery that has a bunch of those as well. I don't know what the Pokemon is. Not my favorite. Doesn't look too bad. I really like the purples and the black. Um, but it's always weird for me when I can't figure out what a Pokemon really is or what's the central, like the focal point of it. Uh, so usually that's when I fall off for liking a Pokemon as much. I tell you what, my, my least favorite Pokemon uh, is, uh, what is it called? And another hollow. It's that, uh, Wooper evolves into, it's just like a giant loogie. I always forget what the name is, but I'll tell you what, terrible Pokemon. Claude Sire, there, it just came to me. Claude Sire, terrible, terrible Pokemon. Uh, so if it's your favorite, I apologize. I just, it's just one giant lob circle thing with almost no detail to it. And I love Muck and I love Grimer, so don't get me wrong. I like the ugly ones or the weird blobby ones, uh, but the Caldean Cloudsire or whatever, or Cloudsire, I don't know what it's called. Um, it just doesn't seem like it has any artwork or detail, like none of the cards of it that I've seen. So apologies again if it's your favorite. We are definitely past the halfway point. We did get that rainbow. Really hurt that it was the Sandaconda. Uh, but other than the rainbow, it has been all these and a VMAX. So we need this to turn around and real quick. Just get us one good hit. That's all we're hoping for. Okay, we're getting bad code cards back to back to back. I did uh, worry that was going to happen when we were getting all the good code cards. All right, we got this pack hanging out saying, I got a good hit. Pick me. Will that be the case? No, it will not be the case. Um, so yeah, if anybody's curious, should you start opening Sword and Shield era packs, especially ones before trainer galleries? The answer is usually no. <laughs> the answer is usually you're going to get burned and you're going to get burned hard. I just, I'm so grateful that I uh, came back to collecting when Crown Zenith was the set that was currently just released. Uh, I was kind of like Silver Tempest into Crown Zenith time when I came back. And that's when the pull rates started getting a lot better. Hollow Grappalocked. Not what you want from a hit code card, y'all. Uh, but yeah, so I was spoiled right, right when I came back. Crown Zenith with way better uh, pull rates than any other Sword and Shield set from my knowledge. Uh, and then it led right into the uh, Scarlet Violet era where everything's not... Booster boxes aren't confirmed seated, but they're pretty much seated. You're, you're going to get around 10 hits or so, usually a secret rare, uh, illustration rare, I should say. But man, people that collected before I started, which is a lot of people, brutal trying to just open to collect, you know? And that's the fun part. You, you wanna open to get a hit every now and then, you know? That's why it's like, even though it tanks the prices a lot more, I'd rather have more fun opening the packs than immediately have a 200 to 400 600 dollar card uh just because you got really really lucky um you know because you can still have sets like paradox rift where there's you know over 260 something cards and pull rates are pretty easy um compared to this but you still have chases it still takes you a while to get the cards specifically you need um you know and you can actually pull it without spending ten thousand dollars on opening cards which is i feel like if you wanted to chase all or chase uh secret rare from like chilling rain i'd say buy 10 booster boxes and maybe maybe you'll get it but odds are slim all right we'll get something good here honey reverse oh it might be something good it might be i'm gonna call a full art i'm gonna call a full art but it might it might be something really good here we go galarian 
and Slow King V Full Art. Uh, we called it. Uh, I like it though. The alt art of this in the set is my chase from the set. We already got it though, like I was saying. But I'll take a full art. <laughs> Especially when we're down to the last five packs. Oh, it's painful, y'all. It is painful. Uh, you know what? To be honest though, I feel like even though how bad it's been, it seems this a full art, a rainbow, a V Max, and some Vs. I feel like it's better than most of the time. Like like better odds or better box for Chilling Rain than than what I don't know most of them will be. So we'll, we'll say that we got lucky. Impact Energy. Ooh, another something good. Well, probably another full art, but let's go for something good. Hey, okay. Clara full art. That's that's probably a good one to pull and not have to buy. Waifu cards always have a premium. It's a beautiful card. I love it. Okay, we will take it. We will take it. The booster box started getting a lot better at the end. All right, and for the birds that we pulled out at the beginning, it looks like Moltres is the only bird we pulled, which out of the Galarian birds, uh, Moltres is probably my favorite. Articuno does have some beautiful cards. There's an Articuno alt art uh, in this set that has him uh, or her, I'm not sure what it is, in a like a giant bubble of some sort. And it looks really beautiful. So I'd like to pull that. I'd like to pull any alt art, but if not, we get it. Oh no. Did I pick final three packs to hold on to all bad code cards? Let's see. Final pack of Chilling Rain Booster Box. Ooh, good code card, okay. Good thing we saved Moltres for last. Build up the sense suspense just a little bit on the last pack. All right, we got Melanie, Warlipede, Crab Brawler. Can we get an alt art from a Chilling Rain Booster Box? No. <laughs> we got a better gross face. But at least we ended on a hit. We didn't get any dupes out of the box. Let's go over and see what we got out of the box. Let's see, we got the two full arts, the rainbow, Sandaconda, the one V Max, and then about five V cards or four V, yeah, five V cards. So not terrible. <laughs> Hopefully it's a, uh, a warning to not open a Sword and Shield product. Definitely, uh, if you're a seal collector, hold on to that type of booster box. I bet it'll go up in value. Um, or sell it if you're not a seal collector. Or open it if you want to have fun. It's up to you. <laughs> um, but I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. All that really helps me out. We're going for that 500, going strong. Uh, we did get that slab to announce finally with the Van Gogh. We got a PSA 10. Chonka Chewed Trainer Gallery from Lost Origin with the Van Gogh going to one sub, both of those things, uh, when we get to 500. Uh, so I hope y'all have a uh, great Thanksgiving and a great rest of your day.